marched through here on May the 22nd, 1944. My brother, my father, and went right through here. And of all things, music, would you believe? A band was playing German marches. But the music, which was also a deception, nothing else. That's it. And yet, we found comfort in that hope. We went through, we discovered that this is not too far from the gas chambers and crematoria of Birkenau. And so I was here for over six weeks. And over six weeks, I would say if I lived 6,000 years, I would probably not live through as much as I've lived here. After six weeks, I was in Gleibitz, a stone throw from here as a slave laborer. My mother and my two sisters were selected, unfortunately, uh, for the gas chambers because my mother had a little baby attempting to help another mother who had about three or four other babies. I can, I can give you this little bit of experience that if, if we had been individually in these different madhouses and these different man-made hells, it may have been different. Because when you have to see your own mother being brutalized, your father, your sisters, your brother, your friends, your cousins, your aunts, your uncles, they're all around you. This is, this is, this is inconceivable. Shoah or Holocaust perhaps describes it, but not to the fullest, nothing does. In December, they said, your father was beaten. The next morning, he just didn't get up. And about a month after, they evacuated the coal mine, the camp, Yawozna, and my brother, got on a transport, he was shot. And it looked like the war was gonna come to an end, but it didn't end for us, no. We marched and marched for three weeks. From there, we were packed like a herd of cattle and shipped to Buchenwald. You might see that I was in the death section of Buchenwald. The only thing you could wait for is the wagon to take you to the crematoriums. And then a flicker of light came in again, once again. When we heard for the first time that the Allies are circling overhead in airplanes. Well, finally, finally, I was liberated, but purely in a physical sense of the word. I will never feel liberated until peace will come among man. Shortly after, I got out of the barracks and I saw all of a sudden flags, all sorts of flags. Then I would say around uh, maybe 3.30 or 4 o'clock, a jeep came in. And it was an American jeep for the first time I saw one. And that signaled for us that we were liberated. And then suddenly find yourself and, you know, leaving that hell. And it's difficult to describe that. A little life came right back into you. You being here and hearing it from someone who went through, I feel a great achievement by knowing that such beautiful people like you, coming from so many diverse, different backgrounds, you know, in particular, some of you who had difficulties in life, all those difficulties, you can be right on top, and you are. And this is why I think, for me, this is a great achievement.